first of all, I'd like to introduce a subject uh, by a famous say from uh, George Box. So all models are wrong, but some are useful. And uh, well, someone might say uh, under certain um, certain conditions and limits. Uh, you've probably heard this say uh, many times within ESI, and uh, I think it's a very interesting um, uh, philosophy on how to question systematically the validity of a model. And uh, bear in mind that uh, uh, you know you need to be very clear on the circumstances and the conditions that you are applying to your model to fit to see if it's actually fitting the real world condition. Um, for the agenda, I'll, I will introduce this subject uh, through the uh, lens of uncertainty quantification. I think it's a very important matter uh, that we should uh, take into account more, uh, well, um, more concretely uh, within ESI, within our product, within our services. Uh, we will give a few examples on uh, what statistical analysis uh, could do for you in terms of uh, uh, engineering, for the manufacturing and for the in-service. And you will see how all of those are actually um, telling a real concrete story of uh, you know, the numerical analysis of things. I need to take into account uh, all of uh, the uncertainty in the design and afterwards how they propagate in the manufacturing and could appear in service. Um, and um, Hughes will present some theory behind. Uh, he put together um, a very comprehensive set of slides for a training material on statistics and optimization and it'll walk you through some of it but uh, there's so much to say so we won't be able to cover it all in one hour um so without further ado let's introduce uncertainty quantification and what is that it has to do with our subject of today the statistics of things so you might know that we live in an uncertain world uh, mm -hmm. even uh, yeah, well, even the organization today, we don't even know where we land tomorrow. So, True. you know, but um, we might be able to quantify that somehow. Um, and um, so there are some methods for that. Uh, there's um, the last um, uh, the last edition of the NAFEMS uh, magazine benchmark was uh, there's, a, there's a short um, article about uncertainty quantification. I can uh, send it over to you if you're interested. Um, and um, just some methods that can be used. You can read the article, it's very interesting. It's uh, light enough so that uh, it's uh, understandable for everyone, but also it's um, picturing our, our problem quite, uh, um, quite uh, concretely. Here, for instance, what we typically do in terms of modeling and simulation is that we take into account uh, um, in the design rules, we take uh, models with uh, nominal values. Most of the time for our material properties, for the loading and for the boundary condition, we make one single simulation um, and uh, taking into account some assumptions, trying to look at the result in terms of performance and we would iterate based on that. Uh, but the, the truth is that this uh, method is sometimes, uh, it's a um, cost, uh, well, in terms of, 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 of time, it's uh, time consuming. It can uh, take a lot of CPU also on the computer uh, if you face a big design um, in terms of for the crash, for instance. So um, you need to have a systematic approach to that. So this is here where we introduce this uh, uh, concept of uh, uncertainty quantification and how the statistics would help you in building a robust design. Um, instead of uh, just having design rules in a deterministic approach by just taking into account a factor of reserve, uh, making sure that uh, you, uh, you're uh, keeping away from the, the failure uh, strengths. Um, well, the, the reality is that uh, you don't have only one nominal um, value that you need to take into account, but the distribution uh, around this value. And uh, you might have, um, through a stochastic approach, you might have here a real concrete a representation of the risk of failure in terms of probability. So I'm not going to go very much into detail right now. Uh, it's just to introduce the subject. And there's a very small example here for the mechanical uh, guy uh, among you. Um, so here it's an example of a cantilever beam with a tip load. Um, so very, very simple example. Here we look at all of the variable of our design, the length of uh, the cantilever, um, the diameter, 
uh, we take into account that it might be a cylinder in this case. The, and I see that Henri is uh, talking to me. Henri, please join the webinar. Um, and um, so, yeah, yield, stress, tip load, those are the variables you want to take into account in your design and look at them not just as nominal values, but uh, look at uh, uh, a distribution of those um, of those variables. And uh, so in order to uh, take into account the, the relevant uh, parameters, first, you, first thing you might want to do is to look at the significance of each factors and how uh, a variation of those would uh, affect your design. So here you can see on the bottom right, you have a distribution of the different aspects and how they contribute to uh, the robustness of your design. So those are the kind of uh, uh, statistic uh, representation that we will be looking for uh, in, the, in the rest of uh, this uh, webinar. And I think it's um, yeah what we want to bear in mind for, for this.